DDA force feeds these ducks twice a day in the southwestern French village of Saint-Martin, the self-proclaimed world capital of foie gras. For the first 12 weeks of their lives, the ducks are free to roam. Then they are forcibly stuffed with corn for 12 days without suffering, according to Didier. I feel a responsibility for what I do. I understand only too well that some people are against this. And that's why I've opened my doors to you today, to show you exactly what the facts are and debunk the myths that some people are spreading. By some people, he means animal rights activists who accuse French farmers of torturing the ducks and geese whose livers are used to make the foie gras. France's world leader in the foie gras market with an annual production of 19,000 tons. We are demanding a ban on force feeding. There are plenty of countries in Europe who have already done this. In fact, most have a ban. There are only five European countries where there is still force feeding. In England, a lot of master chefs have stopped cooking with foie gras, which is becoming very passé. Influenced by northern European countries, the European Council banned individual cages in 1999, requiring instead collective cages where the animals can at least spread their wings. Here we keep them in groups of four. They can move and open their wings. That's what's required for their well-being. Nonetheless, the debate about force feeding is leaving most foie gras buyers and sellers unperturbed, not just here in Saint-Martin. Some 80% of French people have eaten foie gras this year, and the export market for the delicacy is flourishing.